What is up, everybody? And welcome back to the long-awaited My Team Career Mode. I don't know how long it's been. It's probably been, what, a couple months? It's been a long, long time since we've done a My Team Career Mode. So let's get you back up to date. Well, these are actually the three episodes that I missed out. Uh, last time out in Spain, I remember we finished near the back. We had, like, some problems with the PC. And um, I did the next three races, and I lost all the footage. But I did get the replay footage. So you can see from here... Uh, the replays of the races and none of them went very well i mean this is the first one in austria we uh went wide had a collision with ocon that's all she wrote we finished p20 and it was a stinker of a race next time out we went to where are we actually i don't even know where is this place it's not belgium is it no we we're in silverstone how have i messed up silverstone and Belgium. Anyway, we're in Silverstone with the brand new livery. You can see, look at that red, white, blue. Oh, that looked like a tasty livery. I was loving that. And um, it was actually not too bad here. We went for a different sort of strategy, hitting a little bit early. And um, we come home in P18 and getting that last quarter overtake on Pierre Gasly. We do have the option to re sign Jack Doohan. And of course, we do, because why not? He probably won't be here next year. Because he's he's not very good. Let's be honest. He's not he's not doing too much this season. And now we are in Belgium. So there you go. Um, this one definitely is Belgium. It's down into turn one. We could do a nice little dive bomb on about five cars. Say see you later. And we're gonna do another dive bomb in the Alpine. <sighs> yeah, story of my life. You know, I'm I'm, I'm stinky at this game. I race on like a hundred AI or well hundred and five AI for Monza that we're gonna be doing next. But it just. I just make mistakes like that. You see, we're finishing at the back of the order. And it's like, these mistakes are just costing me. It's like, I've got the pace. Especially on one lap pace, I've got the pace at that AI. It's in the longer runs. Those little mistakes just cost me. And I just fall back in the order. But it is around my level, I'd say. If you have a look here, we did get those points in Imola. That was kind of like a fluke result. Everywhere else, it's been... Um, right at the back where our car kind of belongs if you look at jack doohan's result as well i think his highest is like a p15 and his average position is probably 18th or 19th this season so he's not having too much fun and um we are going to be going into monza like i mentioned we can't get the engine power upgrade in for monza but we can get it in before japan because japan you do have that really long straight and um, that could be helpful to have a bit of engine power there. So we're headed into Monza and we've had a nice little uh, upgrade failure. And this was a big one as well. It's a major drag reduction. This is going to be huge for Monza. Uh, but no, we're going to have a lot of drag and we're going to be slow in a straight line. I mean, we've got good engine power, but our aero is stinky. And I mean, our chassis is good. Our aero is stinky. Our engine power is good and our dur durability is stinky. We need to work more on the aero to get this car faster because it is right at the back and getting into q2 is a struggle in itself as we're on our first flying lap right here we have put it onto 106 ai for qualifying i'm feeling confident after practice it's just this middle sector uh, i seem to be a lot slower than the ai and it's actually not too bad but we do miss the apex there and that's going to cost me at least three to four tenths to the ai because they are rapid through that middle sector it seems like the first sector seems to be me uh middle sector the ai and the final sector pretty close as we're closing in on carlos sites and he doesn't know what to do what are you doing fella get out the way you mug he's 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 a bit of a prick he is as he uh, blocks us on our flying lap we do finish it anyway and uh, we're a second slower but the main reason why we finished it is to block sites on his flying lap you know um so we do get our own back and uh, see you later, Carlos. Have fun with that lap, you little prick. And we're going to try and go through the runoff. Nope. Uh, that is literally impossible to go through there. I've tried that many, many times. I actually spent like a session where I sat here for 30 minutes trying to go through that runoff. And I just couldn't do it. It's, it's impossible. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why... Like, just make it easier for us in the game. Because you can't... You physically can't do it. I don't I don't get it. But we're on our final flying lap right now. We bolted on a new set of softs. And we know there's time in this middle sector. And that's actually not too bad through there. You can see I, I decided not to go over the orange bump on that first left turn into the chicane. And that's because it's so inconsistent. Sometimes there's no bump. Other times your car just rides the bump and it completely 
unbalances the car and you lose so much time. So I didn't want to risk it. And that seemed to work. Middle sector, we're up five to six temps. We could have a chance at P2, uh, Q2. as about three temps up on the Sergeant, but we run wide there. And that's going to cost us a lot of time. We were two and a half to three temps up on Logan Sergeant. But that has probably cost us about three temps in total. We're only improving because that's where Sides blocked us. It's down into the final corner. We missed the apex by a good car width, car width and a half. And that, that's a that's a bottle job. And that's what I mean. Those mistakes at this AI level is going to cost you. And it's cost us big time as we're only going to get P21 on the grid. Where after the first two sectors, it was looking like a potential Q2. We were hovering around that Alex Albon Lance Stroll range. It should have been at least a P19 and head of our teammate. But instead, it's going to be P21 working our way from the back in Monza. It should be easy to overtake. So uh, we'll see if we could get this done. And if you have a look at the car performance, we are the second slowest car uh, behind Alpha Tauri. I mean, I thought the straight line should be good enough to get us so here in Monza, but we will find and out. Italy once again for another round of the Formula One World Championship. And what a great race is in store for us today here at the oldest circuit on the calendar, which hosted its first race all the way back in 1922 with top speeds up to 215 and an average lap speed of around 155 miles per hour, Monza's reputation as one of the fastest circuits in the sport is well earned. We have 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with the best overtaking chance coming into the heavy braking zone of the Turn 1 chicane. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position. And Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Oscar Piastri, Hamilton, Russell, Perez, Leclerc, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Bottas, Stroll, Gasly, Joe, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Ocon, Albon, Sargent, Dewan, Sonoda, the rookie, and Nick De Vries. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Uh, unfortunately, no penalties. I mean, P21 is where we're going to start. I was hoping maybe for like a penalty here or there, but maybe in the next few races, we will see more penalties and we'll be starting further up the grid. So yeah, P21, we're going to go aggressive at the start. I'm feeling we go on to the softs. We try and make a couple overtakes happen and let's just race. I mean, we're in a car that shouldn't get points. We need stuff to go our way, such as retirements, safety car timing, red flag timing. We need stuff like that to go our way if we want points. So let's go aggressive. Let's get on that soft tire, try and get a couple of overtakes early doors and work our way through the field. And I think most people are going to be on the soft tires as we start the formation lap we can actually see now oh no we're not on the formation lap we're we go 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 it's five red lights we're underway i think a lot of people are on the softs that's caught me off guard as we have got underway we're going down the inside of our teammate see you later fella he's on the mediums we're on the softs we do a dive bomb down the inside slam on the brakes to stay away from the rear of Magnussen. This is a front wing end plate that's gone off. It looked like a red end plate. And I think it might be from a Ferrari up ahead. And yes, it is. It's Carlos Sainz. He's hit someone in the rear on the opening lap. Can we have a go at Esteban Ocker? We know... They like to form a little train down here. And they do form a train. Down the inside of Ocon we go. We leave him the room and we say, see you later, fella. Up into P16. It's a good start in Monza. It's a start you would expect because you can dive bomb a bunch of cars. But let's have a look what actually happened to Carlos Sainz here. So Carlos Sainz, on the, at the start of the Grand Prix, he's, is he going to hit the rear? Of the, yeah, he hits the rear of the Aston Martin. A bit of a weird one. Kind of moved across. And hit him. I don't know really what he's doing, but he's gonna have to pit and get that change. So that's that's um I mean yeah, that's pretty much Carlos Sainz out of the points. He needs something to go his way because he is gonna pit for a new front wing as we're going three wide down into the final corner. Oh sergeant's hit us, you little prick. Get off, piss off. He's hit our side pod, the dirty bastard, as we're right in the rear of Esteban Ocon. Trying to make a run down into turn one. We're going to go three wide again. Surely not. Down the inside of the two of them. Are we going to go for it? Last of the late breakers. No, we decide to back out of it and tuck in behind. We don't want to risk 
any damage as, uh, I mean, Sonoda almost getting past us as well. But Albon stays ahead. Ocon ahead. Sergeant drops down to P19. And we've lost a place after that battle. But that was a fun little battle. And um, going three wide into two different corners. It's all kicking off. And you can see it's a massive train forming. Look at all these cars. They're all side by side or in a line. The two house cars going side by side. It is kicking off. Here in Monza. This is absolutely mental. Look at it. You've got six, seven, eight cars in a line. And you've got a couple peeling out to go side by side. We're going around the outside. Can we pick our way through? Albon breaks later. They're going three wide into the corner. Alex Albon, what are you doing there, fella? We're going to try and capitalize. Can we find our way through one, two, maybe all three of them? As uh, we have the run up, we've got ahead of the Haas. Surely not. We're going to go for it. Are we going to be able to find room around the outside of both of them? It's three wide again. Last of the late breakers. See you later, fellas. Up into P14. That is one of the moves of the season. What a move that was. Look at this. I mean, we're in the rear of Albon. We have to lift a little bit not to go into the back of him. He goes defensive. And we, we say, all right, see you later, mate. We'll break later. Look at that. That is confidence under breaking. And that is why we're in Formula 1. It's not just because we've bought the team. We are cooking here in uh, in Monza. As Esteban Ocon decides to take a trip to the gravel. You can't go there, mate. And you can't park there. You've got to keep moving. Um, so Jack Doohan finds a place. He's up into P20. Not really the start he had in mind. He's lost out to Nick DeVries, who's also on the medium tyre. And uh, he's right at the back of, uh, of the runners, other than Carlos Sainz and Ocon, who both have made mistakes. Science having a pit and Ocon taking a trip to the gravel. And we could actually have a look at another Haskar here. Could we move up into P13? We are cooking. The car is coming alive at the start of the Grand Prix on these soft tyres. We think about a move on uh, Valtteri Bottas as well. I think we might have clipped his rear tyre just a little bit, but we're going to get away with that and we're just fine. We've made a move on Hulkenberg up to P13. Is points on the cards here? I mean... It is a stretch. Points is still quite far away. you got still got another three, four cars to overtake. Um, and I think it might be a bit optimistic to think about points, especially when you see our straight line speed. It's just not existent. The Haas has passed us before either of us turned on DRS. I, I, I don't get it. Why are the AI so fast? Well, I do kind of get it. We did run a low downforce setup. I mean, I went 15 on the front, 7 on the back here in Monza probably should be going almost 0-0 zero, zero wings. Um, but I just wanted that extra bit of speed through the corners, through that middle sector, because we were struggling in practice compared to the AI. So that's why I went for it. And it seems to be the wrong choice. As you can see, the Williams is getting past us pretty much before the braking zone into the final corner. We had to break early just so we could uh, get DRS. And this is around the point where our tyres are just finished. Once they hit 25%, I have no pace. I have no pace, no confidence, and I just just lose it. I struggle in online races as well. And you can see around the final corner, it's like we're driving on ice. We're just sliding through it, and I've had enough of these tyres. I'm pitting a couple of laps earlier than I was supposed to because I just want to get off these tyres, go onto the mediums, and be able to push again and not have to worry about spinning out in every corner because I know if I try and prolong this pit stop, I'm going to lose seconds per lap. And I might risk spinning out as well. And that's the last thing I want, spinning out and ruining the race. Especially uh, as this could be a, a decent strategy to try and jump Alex Albon, who was in our race, and, and try and get ahead of those cars. Try and jump uh, Hulkenberg and uh, stay ahead of them as they are coming out of the pits now. You're going to see Alex Albon peeling out the pits. Same with Yuki Sonoda. Albon is miles up the road. Sonoda, we just about get out ahead of him. And the undercut has not worked. It has not worked at all. We have not found enough pace. But we have warmed up the tyres. But, yeah, it, I just can't seem to get these get the soft tyres to last. And that's cost us. Forcing our hand to pit early. And I'm thinking right now, we are upgrading tyre wear at the earliest opportunity. We have got Nico Hulkenberg. So, see you later, fella. Ahead we go. Sonoda got ahead of us already. And the AI looked rapid on these mediums. So, the first stint where we looked fast... On those first four to five laps, um, we enjoyed it while we could. And now we're just a sitting duck 
to everybody behind. The two Haas cars all over the back of us. Hulkenberg making it look super, super easy. We've run wide there. And Magnussen is going to say see you later as well. We don't have the same grip. We don't have the same confidence on these medium tyres. And Doohan, who's on the hard tyres, he wants to cook. He's trying to find a way past Esteban Ocon. And at this rate, he might actually finish ahead of us because he's just got much better pace. We have no confidence. I'm just scared of losing the rear around mainly around the last quarter but also through the s's in the middle of the track and you can see what's going on here fernando alonso yellow flag is he yeah his engine's gone fernando alonso is out of the grand prix he's pulling over could this be drama is a safety car on the way here as we go really deep into that corner you see fernando alonso on this side of the track but no safety car no vsc no red flag no nothing we needed something we needed something just to relax. We would have chucked on the softs and gone for it at the end of the Grand Prix. But no, we, we didn't as we get swarmed by Ocon, swarmed by Doohan. And I, I think this genuinely might be a setup problem. The lack of straight speed is, is a huge problem. Jack Doohan is going to beat us on race pace. And you know when he's beating us on raw pace, there is a big problem because he's not that fast. If you put someone else in that car, they would be beating me by a lot, lot more. So... We're gonna have a, we're gonna go back to the drawing board, have a look. What could we have done differently on the setup, especially if we race here at Monza next season? And I think I'm gonna invest in tire wear upgrades because once we hit 25%, you can see, oh my god, that's a big moment. I can't believe we haven't crashed there. Once we hit 25%, the tires, they just go. They they just melt away. And you like this is the exact same line I always take through that corner. And it's just a tank swapper and we almost spin it and bin it. And it's like, why? Why are our tyres just have a massive drop off out of nowhere? And it's frustrating because we can't pit. If we pit, I mean, we're going to be 25 seconds behind everybody else. There's no point. We need a safety car. We need a red flag or something. So I think the next upgrade is going to be tyre wear upgrade to try and help us avoid these situations. Uh, situations such as De Vries overtaking us for p20 and we're gonna finish last on track i mean we're beating fernando alonso we're gonna we're gonna say we just beat fernando alonso we beat an aston martin what a day what a day to be uh part of the band for them b motorsport but yeah no we we did not have any pace and it's it's a day to forget but not for Sergio Perez, who's going to take P1. I almost said Oscar Piastri. But Oscar Piastri will take P2 for McLaren, P3 for Leclerc. Verstappen's not on the podium. That's not something you're used to saying nowadays. But what a result that is for Sergio Perez. And we do come home for P21. We didn't put the car in the wall. So we're happy with that. And um, yeah, we need to go back to the drawing board. Look, I, th I think maybe take some more time in, in practice and, and fix the setup. I think I dropped that down. Uh, I upped the downforce too much and we needed that straight line speed more than anything. But I think a big problem was that drag reduction upgrade didn't come in. I mean, if that comes in, I think that changes our weekend a little bit more and we maybe finish a couple places higher. But tire upgrade, tire wear upgrade is definitely coming in because the drop off is crazy and we struggle Maybe I should have went mediums to hards. That's what Doohan did. It worked better for him. But I don't know. We'll, we'll have to look. We'll have to see uh, next time out. I, I don't know where we are next time out. But you can see here Perez getting P1. And Guan Yu Zhou for Alfa Romeo picking up P10. That's one point for Alfa Romeo. And that's a vital point. Every point matters at the bottom as we're scrapping away. You can see Doohan taking him a P18. Fair play. He beat Ocon who did have some car problems. And also De Vries. And he beat us. As well, so if he's beating us, we can't complain too much because he's winning the teammate rivalry. As you can see, we got one of the sponsors overtake five different drivers, but we didn't achieve a top 10 finish. We got nice little uh, damage deductions as well. We broke a front wing in practice, so uh, some uh, some money coming out of the team there. You can see in the constructive standings, that's the one that we care about. Haas is four points ahead of us. That extra point for Alfa Romeo is pretty huge. That puts them on four points, only two behind us. So we need to try and find a point here or there. We've got all six points so far, and we're probably going to be the ones that are going to have to get the extra points as well, because I don't see Jack doing, doing that anytime soon. 
See, it's been dodgy for us recently. P20, P18, P21, P21. And that's off the back of two DNFs. So we've probably the worst driver in form right now on the grid. Doing with back-to-back -back P18s with uh, the best best position p15 all season so hopefully you can do better next time out uh we will see you next time it is going to be in japan we're going to see what we can do there hopefully new upgrades and uh, yeah make sure you go ahead leave a like leave a comment if you do enjoy these my team series and i'll get more out here and i'll see you guys next time peace